Hi, uh, so today our topic will be business visas. Uh, basically what you can do on the business visas and what you shouldn't uh, be doing while being in Russia on a business visa. Well, first of all, with regards to business visa, you need to pay attention uh, who is the inviting company. The general rule would be that uh, the company that you are traveling to and have meetings with in Russia should be the sponsoring company in the invitation letter and it should be stated in your business visa. With regards to the activity that you can do in um, Russia under a business visa, um, and the list of activities is pretty much uh, general as it would be in other countries. So it's mainly business development, um, conducting meetings, negotiations, uh, signing even of commercial contracts, um, participation in different types of uh, conferences, exhibitions, uh, trade shows. That's all possible under a business visa. But you need to be careful in order not to, um, uh, to be involved in the working activity in Russia because the line uh, is very thick here. Yeah? So be careful, um, uh, do not work under a business visa. Uh, in Russia. And that's uh, very important, especially for American nationals, because under uh, Russia-US bilateral agreement, they are able to stay six months in a row in Russia, um, whereby most of the other um, citizen, foreign citizens um, will have to live under after three months if they stay on a business visa. Um, and it's a 90 days rule applicable yeah, within 180 days. Uh, I'm not talking, of course, about those countries that Russia have bilateral agreements on uh, short-term visa-free travels. Yeah? There is a list of such countries. But um, the visa-free status also doesn't allow you to work in Russia. Yeah, It's purely for tourism and business purposes. And the activities under the visa-free regime would be the same as I mentioned uh, applicable for a regular business visit. So that's pretty much uh, everything with regards to business visa. Thanks, take care.